Hey gang, Kevin here, Life22, and touching base with you. Uh, I got a couple books to review, and uh, I have two, and I figured I'd bang this one out before I have to go to class tonight. So this one uh, was kind of an interesting book. I read it, um, geez, a little, hmm. uh, I read the book uh, when we first got, uh, a little after we got Cole, so like, uh, May or June, we started having some issues with him, and we had signed up for training for Cole with Steve Phillips, and so I started listening to this book, and some of it applied because he was still a puppy, and some of it quickly didn't apply anymore because he was growing out of being a puppy, and uh, um, yeah, that was kind of uh, that was kind of the book itself. I mean, it was, and if you give me one second, I'm going to pull up the title of the book because, of course, leave it to Kevin to start rambling on about books that I. Uh, all titles. Um, it was called the, I think it was The Art of Raising a Puppy. It was, geez, a loo. Search. Puppy. Of course, in my library, I'd like to search. <laughs> um, wow. Huh. Yeah, so now that you guys are going to kill me because I'm reviewing a book that I don't remember the damn title to, um, I finished it like a month ago. Uh, I started reading it in June, and then I kind of jumped off of it because I wanted to work with the dog while I was reading it. And it worked great for kind of building some, like, boundaries with the dog. Like, um, you know, put your fingers inside his jowls and around his ears. And just to get him comfortable and understand his dominance position and uh, in the roles. And, and it made a lot of sense, and it was kind of an interesting book. Uh, and I, I was a big fan of it. Uh, uh, but uh, one of the problems with the book was that I didn't, um, filters, tagged as finished, apply, boom, that'll narrow it down in half. Um, part of the other reason that was, a, a you know, uh, I, I still recommend going to, uh, Uh, going to uh, it's like somebody like Steve Phillips who can actually train the dog if you're not uh, you know and Cole was so rambunctious if he had met Cole he he's like a loaded like he's like an atom bomb um, there's all this energy and it just at any moment it's like it was poorly constructed you know like the shitty bomb maker just, just jar it too much and boom it could just blow up um, and that was kind of the dog so it was good that uh, we had Steve Phillips uh, got us in and he got us in in the end of August and then he had an opening and was able to sneak him in for the next uh, training which was great for the advanced obedience now he can walk down the street with me and uh, it's uh, it's kind of nice uh, he can walk down the street without having a leash on it. and we're working uh, with things like that, uh, you know, with him to try to, and then in the fall or in the spring, he's going to be picking up with, uh, doing his, uh, doing his deer blooding, which means if you shoot a deer and it goes away in the woods and it gets lost, um, Cole will be able to help you find him. So, or it, so, uh, new skeet. There it is. The art of raising a puppy, uh, by the monks of new skeet. Um, in library, oh my god, no, don't start playing, just uh, view summary. So, um, yeah, it was a great book, it was, I want to say it was four, it was about four hour read, um, and uh, it just had a lot of great advice, uh, things to, you know, just a better, just a better grasp, so I, I feel like, you know, having a guy like Steve uh, is great, 
Uh, and then having a book like this that you can kind of read and give yourself a better grasp of, you know, what Steve has spent his whole life learning so you also understand because you are the one that is taking Steve's instruction and training your dog. So Steve's doing some training and then you are completing the training too and it's like a, it, you know, it's a hand-in-hand -hand thing. Uh, so having some understanding. Uh, it was a good Audible book. It was uh, it was highly recommended. Uh, like if you Googled like, you know, raising a puppy or training a puppy, they, like this book came up as, you know, a, a top a top recommendation so um, it was definitely a good read um, there's not really much more I can say about this book I mean it, you, you gotta listen to it. it's four hours it's not it's not nothing anything long if you're looking to get a puppy this is a book that I recommend for you um, and I also recommend reaching out to your local dog guy uh, if you want to get some real serious training and and see a night and day difference if you've got a troublesome pup or real hyper pup or anything like that so um, you know support local business uh, support your local dog trainers um, yeah, and other than that, guys, that's uh, that is the art of raising a puppy. By the the uh, that is my review of the monks of New Skeet. So we will catch you guys on the flip flop. We'll hopefully see you here soon.